George Bryan here at the Swing Balance Golf Lab with David Gray. And what I'm, we're going to talk about golf-specific exercise and one for, primarily for the trunk torso to get your shoulders and hips along with your feet and knees acclimated to what we call turning disassociation and just basic movements to create, to try to train our body to act more like a spring. So after you've gone through and gotten some blood flowing, and that would be in the golf general exercise, this is called the cat and the cow, or we'll sometimes refer to the S posture. In short, you're trying to get the top of the spine and the bottom of the spine, I'll just say loosened up a little bit, and working not just with each other, but against each other. So it's a little bit of disruption type exercise. And what we're going to do is hold the bar out in front. And one of the things to think about is the good neutral posture. But in athletic ready position, always when you're going to make movements with your hips and shoulders involving the whole trunk and torso, it's best to get a little bit of bend in the knees and a little bend forward, okay, at the waist, and then what we'll do is turn our trunk torso into a bit of a C, and we roll the back, you know, like the poor posture, poor posture, and we roll the shoulders inward, pinch the shoulders inward, roll the back, and as we do that, what we'll, we'll try to take our hips, and we'll bring them up underneath. And it's a very odd feeling, but we want to get, we want to exaggerate. So when we roll under with the hips, keep that knee flexed and roll those shoulders and try to make the round part, try to make the center of the back, try to round it. Now, as you go back to neutral, we'll just call this neutral, your hips will be angle a little more towards the ground and now we're going to go just the opposite in what we call S posture and I like to think of the the cartoon the sway back horse or mule where the the back is is all and I'm there you go and so now with the arms in the position that will allow you the best stretch I love using the tsunami bar or the multi sticks to now, for the second set, we're going to put, we're going to use the tool, the, the tsunami bar or the multi-stick as a pattern support tool, kind of like a partner, so to speak. All right, so now when we go to C posture, you'll see the bar flex. All right, now we go back to neutral. Arms are bent. And now we're going to go to S posture. And I'm pressing into the ground to give me a little bit of extra when it comes to exaggerating the S posture. All right, so back to neutral. All right, so there is another step to this exercise that's a lot of fun because now you've gotten that spine kind of in the range of motion you've, and, and uh, Got our spine worked out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to twist it a little bit. The neat thing about our Tsunami Bar products is it bends and twists a lot like a golf shaft. So everything that you're doing, everything that you're doing when you are training is in the name of golf when you're using the Tsunami Bar technology. And I, I think this just makes common sense. If we're out and we're working on anything, if we're investing our time, I mean, this is a graphite shaft, doesn't it make sense that you're working with a golf fitness product that has the same properties as a golf shaft? And so that's, uh, that's my logic. Now we're going to get into some dissociation. And dissociation is really, we're trying to take one part of our spine and move it in, oppor in opposition to the other. And in this case, we're going to start by stabilizing the shoulders and mobilizing the hips. And that means we're going to take the hip and we're going to draw it backwards while we keep the shoulders stabilized. Now we're going to reverse and we're going to go in the opposite direction. 
And that's your choice, and I kind of like to put a little pressure, a little weight in the side in which I'm going to rotate away from. All right, so if I go, if I, as I disassociate and move right, I'm going to put a little extra pressure into the right heel, and then I'm going to take, take my right pocket, and I'm going to try to really exaggerate it and move it in the direction of what I would call the target. I'm a, I'm a right-handed golfer, so the target's that way. I'm going to try to get my right pocket to go in the direction of the target. Just the opposite when I disassociate in the opposite direction. So I put a little weight, a little pressure in the left, move the hip backwards. All right, so disassociation to the right and to the left. Okay, so there's basic with the, I like to do the same movement with the bar across the shoulders. Bend the knees, bend over at the waist, same idea. All right, you can do it with the bar at, now I like the over and under grip because now, same idea. I like to keep the bar into the mirror. And you can use the mirror again. David is face on, I'm down the line. And these are references to monitor. And what I always like to suggest is while you're making these movements and David's working it pretty hard, I can see him coloring up a little bit. And only you know, only you know it doesn't look like that much. But I like to think about, all right, why am I doing what I'm doing? And this is in the name of helping your golf swing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add some shoulder work to it. So now we're going to, Stabilize the hips and mobilize the shoulders. Now, right there, I'm catching David. He's, there ain't no way you can turn that much. He's cheating a little bit. I don't blame him. Oh, uh, yeah. So what you do is you got to stabilize the hips and turn the shoulders. There you go. Now back to the other side. Okay. Woo! Now, hey, you can begin to see if you've got favor or strength or weakness now your hips moved you cannot move those hips if you're going to get the goodie out of it so one of the things you want to do you could put your rear end on a seat back it up or i like to just use a mirror all right other side that's beautiful dissociation and you notice he's moving in one range so i would suggest since he's already really good to level that turn out a little bit make those short make the turn more level beautiful uh, you're turning those hips. And the, the idea is not to get a lot, is to do it correctly. So let me repeat that. Um, it doesn't matter how much, you, you want to do it correctly. So you, you're using not just the ends of the bar as a reference, you're also having your feel and lock those knees down. Use a mirror and don't let those knees work. So try level, dead level. So you want to move. Straight across, there you go. So try your different ranges of motion to find out where your strengths and weaknesses are. Now see, David is incredibly elastic. And all right, so we covered two ranges, just to sum it up. Spine, bending, and flexion, and then rotation. So for David Gray, I'm George Bryan. These are golf specific exercises that enhance the golf swing and set you up for impact conditioning movements.